This is part two. Oh, damn it. I'm not playing this. Part two. <laughs> Don't steal. Whoa. Of what we're doing. You're okay? in the middle of all three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we used to have that one over there, but now we're right here, here, and here. And we're going to have some conversations, all right? Also, we're That's what's going to go down. And we have two fifty. Two fifties. Look! Look at that! Look at your face on that. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I don't ever want my face to be that defined again. Here. We have kombucha. You this is not you changing. Know it's like being a cat. This Focus is not changing. Face. We still have kombucha. You know it's like being a cat, and you just kind of put it here. I'm just gonna <laughs> push it off. I hate you. So if you get through this, this is half. You only need like eight ounces of kombucha every day to literally not, not die. So, this is like if you go to the diner and there's a guy cooking. Okay. And he's fat and sweaty, and you filter normal tasting tea through his butt crack and then put it in here. That's a smell. <laughs> that's a sm <laughs> That's the smell I'm getting. I hate you, but you know what I realized as you were saying that? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that right there? You're right. <laughs> Thank you. I, okay. I, I hate this, but I like drinking something so much that I will just probably drink whatever's in front of me. But here's the thing. You can't tell me that you... How do I word this? You like it more than you did the first time you drank it. Because I remember my insights feeling really sparkly. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Because <laughs> it's good for you. <laughs> Should we do this like every week? Yeah. Just like in depth? Like... Yeah. I love this. So the first episode turned out really good. Yes. Super good. Eric and I have struggled to try to do a podcast, and it seemed like every single time we tried to do that podcast, the next one we're like, okay, we're going to do it different. We're going to try this podcast out differently. And it was just like in motion, like we never really had a podcast that both of us loved. Yeah. Well, because every time we sat down, we're like we're recording a podcast. Yep. It was so forced. Crazy like, forced. <clears throat> Which is fascinating because you'd think like, once you put cameras on us, that would make us be more forceful <laughs> about this conversation. <laughs> but like, I just need to forget that anything's here. Cause like we had conversations all the time once afterwards. We're like, well, that would have been an awesome podcast. Minus yeah. the fact that we're like name dropping people. Yeah. Name dropping. And then also name dropping and super in depth. Exactly. Exactly. Which I think down the road will, is not necessarily appropriate. Yeah, yeah. That's very true. Um, Your tea also sucks. I was cheers. promised. Uh, I was promised that uh, halfway through, when these were gone, we get coffee. So that's the <laughs> only. That's the only thing keeping me excited right now. Gosh, I love this stuff now. Um, makes my insides feel sparkly. It's part like, of the reason I love it. Like Mr. Clean. <laughs> like Mr. Clean does to you? Um. <laughs> okay. So. This last week. <laughs> yeah, we recorded a week ago. What was that about? What was that mainly about? It was a lot about my fall the weekend prior. Uh -huh. And like, just the difference I felt in that fall compared to others. And the yeah. kind of just going into depth of understanding. Literally, I titled it Understanding Why I Don't Want to Watch Porn Anymore. Which was an awesome video. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, but 
this is what happened. This is what I want this conversation to base around is last night I posted on Instagram. Saw that somebody liked it. It was a woman. Which you do now have a sweet phone. Yeah, I do have a phone. I'm recording on this phone right now. Oh, it looks so good. But also, (laughs) so saw that girl like uh, the picture, didn't know who it was, so I clicked on her. Well, turns out she's beautiful. Naturally. And she had some really revealing photos on her Instagram. But I didn't react like I usually do. It was a, ah, oh man. It wasn't like a, like, you know, when you start watching porn or like you get that first temptation and it it's just me, like, tw- 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 yeah, it took me forever to like recognize that that's there. Yeah. But like when it's not, it's like you first get the thought or the temptation. It's like literally I can feel my heart. Like there's just like a weight. As just like whatever chemicals are flooding your chest area to make your heart beat fast. Yeah. Like you just feel it. Yeah. And then you're just like, go time. <laughs> yeah. There's like a tug, like, I will not be happy unless I do this. Yeah. It's so annoying. But yep. that wasn't there. And then revealing pictures. Revealing pictures. Like and I multiple. Just, so you start scrolling. And you I started scrolling. No, I saw one and I just like kept scrolling. And I was like, <laughs> I kept telling myself, I was like, this is not a good road. This is not a good road. Like, I'm not. So initially, did it start out like it typically does? Where, like, maybe you hadn't had that feeling yet, but you started scrolling. Like, oh, I'm just, you tell yourself, like, oh, I'm interested. But you yeah. know exactly where that typically goes. Yeah. She. So basically, yeah. just she was just like, she's super into yoga. She's actually a yoga teacher. And is she a mountain person, too. I would imagine so. And so, like, I was very interested in what she was doing. Because she had a lot of those, like, quotes, too. Yeah. So, okay, okay. it was a mixture of both. Yep. And, but then I, like, clicked on one revealing picture. And I started reading what she had to say underneath. Because she wrote, like, three you paragraphs. You clicked on one, not knowing that there was a ton of words. Not knowing. No, no, no. I clicked on it <laughs> to look at it. But, again, like, it was such a different, like, different feeling. And then what she wrote underneath was just like, this is God, like, showing me that this woman, it was just like, this woman has a character. What did she write about? She wrote about uh, the understanding of <laughs> getting there. You are crushing that. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, I want coffee. <laughs> yeah. I was promised coffee. She, under, like, the understanding of her body is a temple. And how she is at the point where, like, the uh, lust isn't a thing. When she looks at someone who's, like, she literally said she's been around, like, people who are openly naked for her entire life. And lust isn't a thing. It's a, it's, like, an appreciation for the body. Or it's just, like, a normal understanding and love for... God's creation as like a beautiful housing for what's within. Yeah. Yeah. And like understanding like God's temple within it. And I, I just kept reading on and I was just like, there was so much just excitement, but like excitement's not the word, I guess. Cause like ex- there's excitement when you get like lustful. I think you're almost like surprised that, you're reacting to this so yeah like not normally yeah I think it's something that I've again I've heard and I've heard and yeah. I've heard but now I've that just like the body is a temple of the Holy Spirit yeah kind of thing yeah and but like also when you can appreciate a beautiful woman for who she is and like God's creation instead of just like lusting after her like it was the first, not the first, but like, it was just explosion, explosive. Well, what's crazy is because that that like tacks on what we were talking about previously that day, of like the alpha and beta consciousness. 
which is just like yep. another way of explaining just something that we've been talking about. But it's just like now that we're like feeling it, uh-huh. <laughs> it's crazy. And yeah. like, so just like super quick, the beta consciousness is basically just you existing in the physical world. You see the physical world and you react to the physical world and you live in that world. Yep. And then as you expand your knowledge and you get to that, like literally that like third eye thing, the concept of that, you start to see the invisible world, which is like literally the words invisible world is all around the Bible and mass and just like everything. But like as you start to like feel it and get a sense for the invisible world, and start to react to it and like live in that world then you're at this whole nother level of consciousness and then when you look at stuff you can like peel back mm-hmm. and see what's really there and so that was just like scrolling through Instagram which is one of the first times that yeah yeah you felt that yeah which is it's, it's crazy because like you said it and I was like oh my gosh I didn't recognize it, but I've I've had that over the last couple months, because like whatever you're on, Instagram is typical. But like you click it through stories, and people have posts with friends, and you click people's Instagram profiles just to like see what they're up to. Yeah, which is funny that it's just mostly women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's not good. But there's like a very tangible feeling, like. Mm-hmm as you start like just looking through different profiles, different people and you're like, how did, how did I describe it? Like, uh, <laughs> like there's the physical and then there's what's behind mm-hmm. and they're like who they are, their body is a temple of their spirit. And like, as you're scrolling through, like I could start to sense it. Like I had a good appreciation and it sort of started coming in and I started to be like more concerned with the physical and I like recognized it. Yeah paused and just like reframed it and I was like what the hell was that <laughs> like I've never been able to do that before I've never been able to do that before like I, I tell myself like she's a temple of the Holy Spirit she's a temple of the Holy Spirit oh my gosh <laughs> it's just so true how do you get there like And that's what I thought, like, oh, that's what I've been thinking for so long. Like, how do we get there? How do we get from where we were a year ago to where we are now? And, like, what changed? And like, But also, like, where we are right now, I feel like I'm just, like, dipping my toes into the water. I, my ass is still in the sand. No, that is super... <laughs> do super need to clear that up. I I don't even feel like I'm tip like like if there's a legitimate beta consciousness, alpha consciousness, I'm like A minus. <laughs> like oh. just like what's barely B plus. Yeah, that's and yeah, I would say I'm sitting in the sand and last night was like something splashed me. And I was like, like what the Oh heck? my goodness. What? What is going on? Yeah. So but to answer that, before we take a coffee break, this, thing, cup. this is what has just made it so practical and so realistic in my life. With what? Between the consciousness and the like, the levels and alpha, and like, how do we get there? It's literally. The guy said it. He said. Oh my gosh, I'm skipping everywhere because I don't know what to say right now. Just recently watched a YouTube video, which I explained to you. Mm -hmm. This guy explained that as the road to alpha consciousness is discipline through fasting and meditation. And like his whole basis is look what Jesus did. Look how Jesus preached, but then withdrew himself and allowed himself to gain that alpha consciousness 
by meditation and fasting. And before he even started his ministry, 40 days of meditation and fasting. And like throughout his life, it's just like, yeah, it's just like Jesus did it right. It's weird. <laughs> oh, so I think I think one of the things is like what the meditating does. And it's like it's purposeful meditating. It's not like just you can get there. If you're just like, I'm going to go to adoration an hour every day. Mm-hmm. You can get there. But if you like focus your energy on like analyzing the things that are happening in your life, I think you can get there quicker. And a big part of this is when you fall, if you sweep it under the rug, because you're so disgusted with what you just did. You don't want to think about it. Yeah. And you shove it away. You're shoving like this mystery box that's just waiting to be unlocked. And you're literally just throwing it away. Because you don't want to think about it. And it's like, right. it's it's fascinating because that's where the secret is. And that's like when you start to really pick that apart and like try to understand that why did you just fall? What led up to it? Yeah. Really trying to answer those questions. Like when you really start to analyze it and look towards it, it's like you're now concerning yourself with like this more higher level behind the physical world thinking. Yeah. Like what's drawing you there? Yeah. And so like as you, if you push it under the rug and not think about it, it's like your detest for the truth of your actions is keeping you in the surface world like you hate the truth of what you're doing so much you want to hide it so much that's what's keeping you surface right yeah because you don't because if you push it back if you push it back then you literally the only thing you remember from that is the pleasure and then maybe a little bit of the disgrace but once you actually dive deep into that like why you fell then you then you like learn that it's so much deeper well it's like i think yeah yeah yeah. and in the moment it's like all you can think about is the disgrace and you're so upset with yourself but like the pleasure is so powerful when it comes back around you can't think about the disgrace because like one of the benefits one of the dopamine literally like the main function of dopamine is to focus your energy because your body's like i need that to survive that's how, like, it's a survival hormone. Yeah. I need that. Focus on it. That's why you can't think about other things until you, like, get, like, reorder your value hierarchy that you care about if with the invisible world. Because, like, your value hierarchy is inside, and that is what um, determines what you pay attention to. Let's make some coffee. To a way better drink. <laughs> I don't think so. I think I like kombucha. Mm. A little much now. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. It's me. Okay. Oh, now we can have a real conversation. Yeah, because you have kombucha that is just enlightening you right now. It's coursing through my veins. <laughs> that wasn't funny. That was my body rejecting it. Okay. I really enjoy laughing at things and then telling them that they're not funny. <laughs> wasn't funny either. Uh-huh. So... important than Patrick's face. Come on. It doesn't like focusing on me. Yeah. Because it's, it's my camera. It knows what's important. But my focus is on you, traitor. We were talking about this exact camera setup. And I was like, dude, 50 mil? 50 mil. Wide angle. And your response. In my defense was so late <laughs> it was like five hours later he just texted 
I guessed my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, at a brief moment. <laughs> I was like, okay. First off, I am no longer sure if he's ever watched porn. Because the word jizz is everywhere in that scene of the world. And so you should not spell it. But, <laughs> I also can't tell if this is actually, he fell again? And this is how he breaks it to me, which is kind of weird. Not that way. Hey, not that weird. Pretty weird. <laughs> kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I thought of it another way. I was just like, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. And you respond in like such a serious, oh my please God. know where I come from. <laughs> and I was just like, was it effing? And I was like, oh, <laughs> I think he thought I was serious. <laughs> I showed, I showed one of my buddies <laughs> that conversation <laughs> and they're like, just could not get over to that. And he was like, if you actually talk to your accountability partner like that. From my point of view or yours? No, mine. I just last night, like... <laughs> Which is like, no, that's not how you... But it's like, you're you, so I didn't blow me away. <laughs> yeah, it's not below me. Not but now you know exactly how I'm going to respond if you ever follow me. Yeah. <laughs> that's honestly what's keeping me away. <laughs> and you have that to look forward to. Man. <sighs> where did I... Where was I? I don't know. Um, real quick, go. We don't have to talk about. We jumping have to back. There. <laughs> I oh, are you idea. starting over? Or no. Okay. Jumping back to the cautiousness, though, that has been something that has been a good, I guess, like way of evaluating things in my life. Like, how do you mean? Every time that I am deciding to do something or every time that like the thought of okay I'm driving either I can just like daydream or I can say a rosary or something like that oh yeah the, the mindset of asking myself what's raising me to a higher consciousness, consciousness. like and then that literally like brings then it just like doesn't even put porn in that well it's crazy because you can like frame the picture in your mind better yeah yeah which makes it so much easier earlier it's like I still don't really understand how praying is going (laughs) to make me stop enjoying porn yeah like that's like a legitimate like thought Mm -hmm. it's like I've tried this praying thing a lot yeah Tried as a huge. <laughs> I don't know, cause like, man, you go to like camps or like yeah. Conferences, and it's like really awesome. You encounter Jesus, but it's like, and you go back and you fall back into this. Yeah. What what was it? What happened? Like what bounced us forward? Is it just like we're just learning? I think it's more about that. Yeah. I think it's learning. You can't really teach. You can teach prayer in certain aspects, but like it goes down to time and actually taking ownership of it. Oh, it's like disciplining, pausing, and meditating. Turns out. Damn it. Damn it. And like that's the, I mean, that's the best thing about meditation is like I say meditation, but that comes down to like And I don't think a lot of people see meditation as, I think they just limit it to a person sitting down and going, "Mm." like, I think that's what a lot of people are like, oh, you're a hippie because you meditate. Like a lot of people say that to me, but it's like, no, meditation can be like you and I sitting down and writing. Like 
the way you listen to Jordan Peterson and drive in your car, that's a form of meditation that is like the number one driver that I believe, like me looking into your life, the number one driver that has got you out of this. Like the ability to sit down and be quiet, you're still listening, but like there's a certain amount of like your conscious is listening and you're allowing your subconscious to do the work. And like you are figuring things out within your can like, I think God's out allowing loud. you. Can I think out loud? Yes. Of like, okay, so I agree that like those times, like what I've been driving and I'm like really just listening to like something he's been saying and there's just like my brain is racing. I just, I haven't been able to repeat entirely consistently on my own while not driving while just like trying to force it yeah and it's because I think it's it's partly because like my my subconscious is busy doing something else Mm -hmm. so it just lets me get in the mode quicker where I'm just like I'm gonna pay attention to this sure but while I'm in it I'm so engaged it's like I I know mentally where I can stay and be comfortable and then as I really start to wrestle with what he's saying like there's a part of me that doesn't understand certain things but it's like I'm starting to walk t- in that direction like I'm cha- I'm not afraid of what I'm going to tr- figure out or just like there's like something unknown in my mind that is just like energizing and like when I'm sitting there I'm just like wrestling these new ideas that I've, I've never heard before I've never heard it explained like this yeah. I don't know where it's going but I've like it feels so alive those are the most like spiritual encounters like the most like alive I've felt yeah or some of the most in a long time because it's like it's different because like different like with that compared to adoration because like what adoration has been for me or like prayer in that sense in in the quiet listening has been like affirmations of all this other stuff that I'm like learning and my spirit is like alive and running and then over in adoration I'm like getting a hug and it's just like a different kind of fulfillment right and it's like I can keep going back and like sitting in his presence and that's awesome and good and I can think of things in there but it's like mm-hmm. when I was being when I was chasing yeah just like I guess the different levels of consciousness yeah that's what helped me like I started to understand them I started to be able to like pay attention um, to know what to pay attention towards but also like be able to call out things I've experienced before right which I think might just be a big part is like they're kind of like I wonder how like an early high schooler will take some of that stuff versus like okay I'm out of college Mm -hmm. I've been through a lot Mm -hmm. like mentally and so when he says something and how like pornography leaves you empty I don't remember if I could really pinpoint that when I was a freshman in high school that it left me empty or right but like after college I'm just like yes like something about it my spirit is not talking to anyone if there's no depth So I guess what he did for me was just like I could name things that I've been feeling and it just blew me away. Right. I could name things I was feeling and he was challenging me to go even further. Who? Jordan. Jordan. Like Peterson. like and like understand the step beyond just being able to call out things I've experienced. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is nuts. Like the more I learned about the spirituality and he taught me the kind of the secular world of it. Like everything fits together perfectly. Right. Perfectly. Like the core original teachings of the Catholic faith. And like neurologically how you get out of an addiction. Yeah. They support each other. And I guess that's something I didn't 
Really? I don't... Didn't expect her. was just so blown away by how perfect they are. Yeah. And like, one, like, okay, you get over wounds. Like, that's something people say. You have to get over some of your wounds. Right. <clears throat> well, the wound is a, a past memory that brings up, like, negative emotions when you think about it. And healing from your wound spiritually is, like, addressing it and pulling strength out of it. Healing from your wound, like, physically is you look at that memory, you dissect it, you form neural, new neural connections around it, you're yawning. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Well, drinking coffee. Right. How is that? Where is that coming from? Because the coffee. I'm just. Because I'm not drinking. I'll stop. Kombucha. I hate you. For the kombucha. Anyways. <laughs> You're forming new neural connections around a memory. And so that changes how you perceive that memory when you think about it. Oh. And it no longer holds as much like negative emotion. Because you like you wired it differently. That's a physical side of the spiritual healing. And it's like, the stuff that happens like that, it's just so much. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> yeah. So you want to be like, so your goal too now is being the Jordan Peterson for someone else. <clears throat> through the book I'm going to be the Eric Scott for someone else being the Jordan Peterson being his role that he played in your life but for someone else's life to be able to explain and give na- give words and names to things that are going on in your life like that's what your goal for the book is with porn yeah yeah I think so like it's funny because that was probably my second goal for the book where the first goal was like I just want to help someone get out yeah and then it was like oh I'm going to help you understand like why you're in it and like that's also a process of getting out and then what that turned into was like the whole spiritual side because it's just like it all flows like I'm going to teach you why we believe what we believe and that's going to elevate you to like love to live up in this higher the invisible world and so like what finding the flame has turned into is yeah that's what I want to be yeah yeah I got a phone call today Mm -hmm. from my mother surprise surprise (laughs) and no she said um, we had a family friend who was like feeling down she's in high school and then she went to um, some group and there's this ninth grader gave a testimony and he started talking about porn and he said I listened to this talk by Eric Donovan and it changed all of how I think about this and like he changed my life and she said he just kept bringing it back up over and over that is awesome what (gasps) that is freaking cool I don't know who it is yeah go find out but like that brought up so many different emotions it's like the the most raw one was like okay I'm sitting in my desk at home like trying to overanalyze shit on like posting or like writing something and it's just like dude just talk about it no one's talking about it and you just getting out there talking about it yeah will help some like when we were in high school no one's talking about it well. In a way that made sense. In our aspect, like in my aspect, like no one was talking about it. Yeah. What does that mean? When you say no one's talking about it, like no one was getting real about it, like yeah, yeah, literally just porn is bad. Don't do it. Okay, right. <laughs> thanks. Actually, need to delete a browser now because I already have it pulled up. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. 
like all the talks I left in high school, I was just like, I get what you're trying to say. I just don't care. I was, it really? Was, it was like, well, it was like, I believe there's the message behind here. Like being yeah. a man yeah. is having a strong will. But I was just like, recent video that I have. Have you posted? By the time this is up, it'll be posted. It's right here. Or whatever. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It would... something we actually just never talk about yeah other than these past five seconds yeah okay but yeah I, I mean yeah it just comes down to talking about it like they're talking about it but like getting it there's so much more yeah and I think what has stuck with me so much lately is on the getting it aspect is like there's a I've been on this beta consciousness I've been on this earth consciousness that is so surface level that is so much like very all right <laughs> like, it's just very below average and I just have here and there had a splash of the next step. Is that what you would call it? Like when you have a really awesome prayer? Or like a really cool like push in that direction? Yeah. Because like I don't want to like say that like I was, it's, I'm just now coming out. And just like say, yeah, my high school and college prayer was just all shit. What's fascinating though is that all my prayer in high school and college yeah. All of them. Yeah. I, which, when's the last time you said a prayer about that? About, like, help me with this temptation. I'm sorry for falling, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Well, like, I don't know if you said, like, I used to yeah. be like, I used to just be like, yeah, this rosary is for me and my friends getting out of porn. <laughs> That's literally it. Now it's, like, changed so much. It's been over a year. Like, I intentionally don't don't ask for that intention. Yeah. Because, like, I I don't want to put that as my focus. Yeah. Like, get out of points I know, grow closer to Christ. And help me understand what the hell that means. Yeah. Don't let me fall further away from you. That's all I wanted to hit on. You want to pinch it off? Yeah. And then. Done. Done. Done so. Okay. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, if you like this, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell button. Yeah. A ding! <laughs> also, if you have something that, like, you're, you want to know more about or you want to, like, have a question. Below in the comments is what he meant by that. Um, yeah, go ahead and put that below in the comments. I don't know if anybody got it, but a couple videos ago, at the very beginning, I said, people have been asking me lately. I'm kidding. No one ever asked me questions. <laughs> and like, I wonder if I people... I it. Okay, good. Because <laughs> like, I, I watched it again. I was like, I hope people don't think I'm like pity partying myself, but I legitimately think that's good humor. <laughs> so, like, but seriously, it would be cool. <laughs> but for real.
Just post anything. <laughs> yeah, literally say hi. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we're going to try to do this. I'm not going to say any promises, but it would be neat if we could do this once a week. Just, Just more consistently. Yeah, so thank you guys. Figure this stuff out. Um, it goes... Oh, yeah, it does. You know what's up. Mm. Yeah, you're trying really hard. 